Hi, Ann Ross, the Liquor and Warner here. Today is May 8th, and I'm coming to you to talk about the housing market in Chicago through April of 2020. As you see on the screen here, this is my primary market area. I sell in far more areas than what you see here, but for purposes of analysis, we're just going to focus on the main downtown Chicago area. Also, we're going to include all property types in this analysis. You probably are aware I sell higher priced properties, and I hope to get you a luxury market update next week, but I really want you to see what's going on from top to bottom for all types of, types of properties here in Chicago. All right, first off, number of listings for sale. We're down in April, almost 4,500 listings versus 5,426 in April last year in a typical spring market. In terms of median sales price, however, we went up. Actually, the highest in the last three years, 422,250. So COVID did not hurt sales price. Listings under contract, as you would expect with people staying indoors for the last eight weeks, we had lots fewer properties under market, under contract rather. Uh, 719 as of April 30th. Compare that, however, to the holiday time. You'll see that in December of 2019, we had 635 properties under contract. So it's not unheard of to have this few properties under contract and still have a market going forward. Interesting, however, to see how strong we were going in our spring market before COVID hit. We had 1,372 properties under contract as of February this year, compared to last year at this time with 1,180 properties under contract. So we were in a fabulous forward motion until COVID hit. Let's look at months of supply. As you know, between five and a half and six months is what we call a static market, neither a buyer's nor a seller's market. And we got close to that at one point, but we have been steady a seller's market for the last three years. Right now, the inventory is 4.2 months of supply. So we continue under COVID to still be a seller's market. An average price per square foot. Uh, right now, we're down to $293 per square foot compared to $280 in January of 2016. You can see from the chart it slipped a bit. However, it's still very strong. That's it. That's the Chicago Housing Market Update for May 8th, 2020. Look out for my virtual open house tomorrow. At 2.30, I'm going to be broadcasting live on Facebook, and you can see it through Zoom also. The 6 North Michigan Avenue, overlooking Millennium Park for a million four five zero. It is a gorgeous three bedroom. Also, we have a first time buyer seminar coming up. And next week, I'll be bringing you the luxury market update for Chicago. As always, you can follow me on Facebook at Ann Rossley Real Estate and on YouTube at Ann Rossley RE. Thanks for watching.